I always think about what life, my life would have been without God. I, I've thought about it and I knew there wouldn't be much of a life. I think I would have died in prison or would have died out on the streets or shot or stabbed. And I'm thinking back that uh, all the things that I went through and all the things that I suffered in my life as a young man, you know, uh, I don't think I would have made it. I, I don't think I would have made it past the age of 25. Uh, pretty rough areas here. A lot of bars, a lot of drugs, things going on here that, uh, that were pretty bad and I got involved in all of it. I think at about the age of uh, 17, 18 years old, I started uh, experimenting with heroin. I started taking heroin, I started shooting it up and, uh, and all of a sudden I realized that, uh, that there wasn't any hope for me. There was no future. I mean, uh, to own a home or to have a house or to have a new car or anything like that, I mean, that was impossible. I mean, I didn't even think about those things. I could have been one of the homeless people living out here without anything in my life and, uh, and died on the streets. I got stabbed and uh, he pulled out a switchblade, stuck it in my nose, went for my eye but got stuck in my nose and cut my nose all up and made a big gash in it and I uh, came home with my, my hands all bloody, my shirt was all bloody. I had a whole trunk full of weapons, of guns, and uh, I was gonna sell them to some uh, gangs in Bakersfield. Uh, you know, that was the whole purpose for me doing that, it was for drugs. As I pulled over to get gasoline, I guess somebody had reported me uh, that they knew that I had these weapons on me, and so the police came and surrounded my car. This is uh, the bar where I ran into, and uh, the police were chasing me. It was a helicopter, and I was running for my life. I was scared, just trying to get, just trying to get some form of uh, uh, a peace in my life, some kind of, some kind of sense of what was going on with my life at that point. This is something I never knew. What love was. This is one of the neighborhoods that, uh, that I was at when, when I was incarcerated for one of the first times. I was robbing one of these homes uh, here, and I was caught by uh, uh, a father and two sons. Uh, they came around and they, from, the, from across the street, a neighborhood, they came and they saw me breaking in and they cornered me. So I pulled a, I pulled a revolver out on this man and his boys and I told him to let me go and I pointed the gun at him and I said if you don't let me go I'm gonna shoot you. He just, he just stared at me and looked at me and said God loves you and, and God can change your life. And, 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 it, and it seemed foreign to me because no one had ever told me that before in my life that God loved me. I always thought God hated me and God wanted to condemn me and judge me. Nobody ever told me God loved me until I heard that in my heart. And it meant a lot to me because uh, now for, for once, uh, I realized that maybe the God does have something for me that's far greater than what I'm doing in my life. The judge, I think he had a little bit of compassion on me because he saw that I was young and he offered me, he offered me a deal. He said, either you go to Teen Challenge for a year and get some help, rehab or you go to prison for 10 years. Well, it didn't take long for me to, to really think about that. I said, I think I'll go to Teen Challenge. And there's where I begin to hear the Word of God for the first time. I begin to hear about Jesus and the things of God and I accepted Him into my life. Not only accepted Him, but that's where my life started to change from that point on. The word grace, it, it's, it, it means so much to me because it's something I didn't deserve. My, my conception of, of uh, the plan that I had for my was so small, but I understand now how big the plan God had for my life now. But back then, I couldn't see anything. Because of the lifestyle that I came out of and out of the prison, out of the jail that I was in, in my own heart, and not only 
not only outside with the bars, but I had bars and I had uh, a jailhouse within inside of me, a bondage. And, and when the Lord set me free, I, I began to learn how to dream. I began to learn what it meant to, to really live and to have life and to walk in, in, in the blessing of the Lord. I want you to know that God has a plan and God can take you from a nobody and make you into a somebody in Him. So don't ever allow anything to stop you from that plan of God in your life. Come on, give God a shout. Come on, give God a shout. Come on, praise the Lord, amen. You know, I look at this word uh, faith up here and there was a time in my life where I didn't have any faith. I didn't have any direction in my life. Faith is very important to me, and without faith, I wouldn't have been able to make it.